The black one is Murphy and the tan black and white one is BB. BB's the puppy. She's actually a girl. It was a misprint in the paper, sorry. sorry. <laughs> and they're beautiful dogs. What yeah. kind of dogs are they? Um Heinz fifty sevens, Greek oh, style, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> they um they, they've put down Murphy as a Labrador cross on his um passport, but BB she's uh, definitely her mother's dog. She looks like a mother. And uh, they're complete they're, strangers. They're in the studio and they're lively and they're lovely and they love affection, don't they? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, to be fair, in Greece, the way for street dogs and stray dogs to get fed really is to be friendly and um, to become attached to the tourists to make yeah. sure they get fed. So they're, they're not stupid. And <laughs> um, people who don't like dogs might think you're barking mad, Vicky. Yeah, um, people would think I'm barking mad. Um, but I absolutely love dogs and I'd actually lost my border collie um, who was 17 years old three months before I went to Crete. Um, I was grieving quite a lot for her um, Misty her name was and it just felt like Misty sent them to me I couldn't believe it when I got to the hotel and saw 15 stray dogs actually street dogs um, BB was born on onto the, on the beach she was the only one to survive out of her litter yeah. um, so i just become really attached to them and felt like Misty sent them to me How do you even go about thinking about bringing them back to Milton Keynes? Uh, well I spent quite a lot of time in the um, in the internet room of the hotel and I got a lot of support from two charities out there Argia uh, Marina Don Donkey Rescue, funnily enough. It's a donkey rescue, but the lady, Barbara, who works there, she helped me adopt BB. Um, she, she fostered her for the six months quarantine that she had to do. Hello, darling. And um, and then another charity, Cretan Animal Protection, they helped me with BB, uh, with Murphy, sorry. They paid for his flight to Belgium um, a week and a half ago, and we had to drive to Belgium to collect him because it's slightly yeah. too expensive for them to pay for him to come to the UK, whereas I obviously paid for BB. Um, so those two charities, yeah, they helped me a lot, and they're actually always looking for funds, so if anyone out there wants to find their websites then please do um, that'd be really helpful to them and they're also looking for dogs that need rehoming as well on Crete and Animal Protection. So I mean do people do this often? Um, it's getting more and more common um, and the laws have actually just changed in the past week with regards to the quarantine laws. Um, normally you have to wait six months um, after their rabies test before you can um, before you can fly them and I don't understand why that rule's in place because they don't actually retest them again in six months they just say you can yeah. only travel six months later. So um, what, we, what we've decided, I think she's eating your breakfast down there. See, it's my own fault for leaving a bowl of, um, of half-eaten cereal on the floor, You can really. take the dog out of Greece. <laughs> she, she stole my brother's um, dinner off the table last night, but he was silly enough to leave it on the coffee table. So uh, kebab and chips was her dinner last mm. night. Um, but as I say, the laws are changing. Um, as, of two, no, as of next year, you'll only mm. need to wait, I think it's about 12 weeks or something, until they can come over, which is going to be a massive help to the charities because they won't have to home them for six months. Is it worth it, Vicky? I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, you look how happy they are. They um, are. They're, they're extremely happy. Um, they're extremely affectionate. They know which side their bread's buttered, definitely. Oh, bread they do. Or their, their pitted bread, maybe. Um, but they're, they're really... They're just really affectionate. They're happy. Um, neither of them were house trained. Obviously, they've both been born onto the streets. They're, in fact, wild dogs, really, if you think of it that way. Um, but they've, they've never messed in the house. As soon as they arrived, they just seemed to know, you know what they were doing and where they were. Do they understand Greek? No, luckily enough, um, the lady at RG and Marina Rescue, she was Kiwi. And the lady at Cretan Animal Protection, she was English. So um, between the two of them, they've been talking a lot of English to them. So I don't need to teach them any Greek. <laughs> and most of the tourists, I would imagine, um, aren't speaking to them. Greek anyway. When, no, when the no, the, there, the majority of it. people that, spit, that look after them really are the Germans and the English when we're over there. Mm. Um, I, that, I mean, they weren't really aware of the cruelty that happens out there. Unfortunately, they're treated like vermin, which is a real sad thing. And and they, these two would have been put down? Um, that's a nice way of putting it, shall we say. It, it, it's taken into the hands of locals. It's not done in a humane way. That's I, I won't go into too much detail over breakfast, but if people look at the websites of the charities, they will find out more. It's not pleasant reading, sadly.